Welcome to the U.S. Naval War College campus tour video. On October 6, 1884, Navy Secretary William Chandler issued General Order No. 325, establishing a college, quote, for an advanced course of professional study for naval officers, unquote. From this humble beginning in a building donated by the citizens of Newport, the Naval War College has evolved into one of the premier military education institutions in the world. Founders Hall, now the home of the Naval War College Museum, was the first building in use on October 6, 1884. Founders Hall served as the poorhouse for the city of Newport before it was donated to the Navy. Dewey Field is named in honor of Admiral of the Navy George Dewey, the only officer of the U.S. Navy to ever hold the rank. He is best known as the victor of Manila Bay during the Spanish-American War in 1898. Dewey Field is also the U.S. Navy's first drill field. And also the location where we hold our largest graduations in June. This anchor from the USS Constellation, which now is docked in Baltimore, Maryland, is located in International Park, commemorating the naval heritage of Narragansett Bay, a heritage which extends from the foundation of the nation in the American Revolution. The official residence of the president of the Naval War College and his or her family is a three-story wood frame colonial revival building situated on the southeast corner of the college campus on Coaster Harbors Island, Newport. It was constructed in 1896. Loose Hall was the first purpose-built building for the Naval War College. Built in 1892, it was named after the first president of the Naval War College, Rear Admiral Stephen B. Luce. It is now a National Historical Landmark. It was the main building of the college until 1974 and now houses the International Programs, the College of Leadership and Ethics, and the Stockton Center for International Law. Pringle Hall was named after Rear Admiral Joe R. P. Pringle, president of the Naval War College from 1927 to 1930 who was instrumental in its construction. Pringle Hall was opened in 1934 to house the college's auditorium and to serve as the Wargaming Maneuver Room. Wargaming continued here until 1957. The wargaming that was done in the late 1930s for War Plan Orange in preparation for World War II was done in Pringle Hall. Built in 1904, Mahan Hall was named in 1936 after the great educator and naval strategist and a former president of the Naval War College, Rear Admiral Alfred Thayer Mahan. Mahan Hall houses the rotunda, library stacks, and the conference center, which is still in use today to host conferences and events. The flags between Mahan and Pringle Halls contain the national colors of the international students in residence at the Naval Staff College. The flags between Mahan and Luce Halls contain the national colors of the international students in residence at the Naval Command College. Three portraits are hung under a beautiful 1900-era stained glass ceiling. Admiral Calvus on the right, Admiral Richard K. Turner, center, and Admiral Caspar Goodrich, left. Spanish cannons from the Spanish-American War were melted down and cast to form the light post on the handrails and the column caps in the Mahan Rotunda. They were made specifically for the Naval War College at the Washington Gun Factory, now the Washington Navy Yard. The International Plaza was dedicated on July 13, 1976 to the graduates of the Naval Command College who have served the cause of peace with distinction by their contributions to international friendship and cooperation. Spruance Hall was the first structure built in a major building program in the 1970s. Named after Admiral Raymond A. Spruce, a World War II hero and former president of the college, this building was opened December 7, 1972. The auditorium seats up to 1,100 people and is host to numerous lectures and conferences. A second new academic building was opened in 1974. Named after a former president of the college, Admiral Richard L. Conley, the building houses the staff and faculty of the college, administrative offices, and medical offices. Each year, the Naval Command College and the Naval Staff College formally introduce and welcome the new in-residence international students to their fellow classmates, 
faculty, and staff on Colbert Plaza. The War College brings about 100 foreign officers to the U.S. from around the world. They study strategy, warfare, decision-making, and operational art. Equally important, they learn how the United States works as a country through the Field Studies Program. Hewitt Hall opened in 1976. It is named after Admiral H. Kent Hewitt, a graduate and former faculty member of the college. It houses the Eccles Library, the cafe, classrooms, and the College of Distance Education faculty offices and administrative spaces. The Naval War College officially opened a new Future Forces Gallery located within Hewitt Hall, May 18, 2017. The purpose of the gallery is to represent the physical manifestation of the college's sharpening focus on considering future forces and capabilities. It also provides a location where NWC students, staff, and faculty can relax in a peaceful environment while reflecting on the possible futures they may face in the years and decades ahead. On June 10, 1985, the College Library was named in honor of Rear Admiral Henry E. Eccles, a noted logistician, strategist, and author whose association with the college spanned 38 years. The library is central to the Naval War College educational and research programs. McCarty Little Hall officially opened in September of 1999. It is named after Captain William McCarty Little, an influential leader and the leading innovator in the early development of naval wargaming. This state-of-the-art facility is used for conducting war games, decision support, research and analysis, and conferences. Sims Hall is named for one of our early and greatest instructors and leaders, Admiral William S. Sims, also a former president of the college. Sims Hall was built as Naval Training Center Barrack C in 1904. It was acquired by the Naval War College in 1946 when it was named Sims Hall. Shonlin Hall was named after Rear Admiral Herbert E. Shonlin, who received the Medal of Honor for his actions in the Naval Battle of Guadalcanal. In 2007, the building became a part of the Naval War College campus to meet the college's requirement for additional office space. The Ernest E. Evans Hall was named after Ernest Edward Evans, who was born August 13, 1908. Thank you for watching the U.S. Naval War College campus tour video. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. I'd like to extend my sincere appreciation to a number of Naval War College faculty who helped with a majority of this tour's script, most parts of which came from the Naval War College Illustrated History and Guide published in 2009. Of note, thank you so much to Professor John Jackson, Air Force Major John David Duvall, Air Force Major Kimberly Rhodes, and Professor John Hattendorf.